Greetings, folks. Thank you so much for coming. I'm Jamila El Shafai. I want to thank everybody for coming here to stand up to protect our aquifer. And I want to give everyone a toast because we won our first battle on Wednesday. We were able to delay the, the signing of the contract and have the whole the, uh, the signing of the contract postponed for a month. I think that's a big victory. So give yourselves a hand. Yeah. We know that this is going to be an issue that is not going to divide our community, it's going to unite our community. Because we feel that once people have the information, they are going to come out and support this issue to protect the aquifer. So thank you for standing up. Uh, this is going to be the first organizational meeting. I'm now, in the last year, have been able to see these issues that I have been studying and learning about and spent um, a year of my life writing a 180-page thesis when I was at Colby about are now starting to, to happen here in my own state, and I'm able to see and um, apply many of the lessons that I learned while I was in Bolivia um, to some of the work that I've been doing here. I think that we've got to create and elect sort of our own moderator, our own procedures, and find a way to help people like you to enlist your support. So, so the motion is to, to make Jamila Pro Tem a chair <coughs> at, at this point in time. The motion's been seconded. Yeah. Um, for this meeting. Discussion. Just for this meeting. Yeah. Um, Discussion. Okay. Great idea. <laughs> is the name of your representative, is that called a, the, the water board member? What trustees. are they called? Trustees. A trustee. A trustee. How many trustees, trustees four. exist? Four. We have four. We have could you, the trustees. Is there yeah. one from each community? Yeah. Don't want to mention first. neutrality, that it should have been an issue that's brought to us in a neutral way in which we understand the issue before anything is done, and I'm just wondering if they violated their code of conduct in some way. Uh, they're, they're, supposed to, they're supposed to all get the same, they charge the same they, as they would to Holland Spring. Now those 19 want to continue to have their water, I'm sure, and so there may, may be some allies in there. They have included that we will waive the Trial, right of trial by jury in case of a disagreement. Right. I That's believe uh, uh, that because Nestle was making a big investment, that they obviously had the preferential route in some of the uh, provisions regarding the right of termination, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I would argue that that's an utter distortion of the true investment. That in fact, the KKWWD's investment is substantially greater than uh, Nestle's. So that, that's a fallacious concept in the first place. But it, what it does is open up the basic problem of little towns making contracts with big corporations. Yeah. You are not going to get that far if you just try to fight this by yourself. But this water district is a branch of government, your government. It's designed to protect your source of water, my source of water. It's not. It's not created by our government, by, by any statute, or by the will of the people here to serve Poland Springs. That water belongs to us first, and we need to continue to protect it. And again, if Emily and Jamelia or others, please don't consider me an outsider simply because I come from Berwick. Okay, it's our water and it deserves our attention and we need to be responsible enough to organize around it. We can do in 30 days to stop the contract. Lori's Hammond's next.